Right around the corner to our apartment is a furniture shop to die for. What a beautiful place. I like this one. Um, I did get a bit distracted. <laughs> we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Good morning, I hope you're good wherever you're watching, whatever time of day it's from, with the time difference, maybe you're watching it later. Anyway, it's morning for me. Um, Jonty went and found an amazing furniture shop the other day. So we've been looking for furniture because we've been in our place for almost, well, yeah, three years now. Um, we've just signed for another two, which we're really, really happy about because we love where we live. We have an amazing view from our balcony, which we adore, very nature tree. It suits us perfectly. If you watched any of our vlogs, you know we love being in nature. Anyway, we've got a few pieces that we bought when we first moved here, the first two weeks on our stay home notice. Yeah, remember that time. Uh, we were just in the hotel for two weeks, so we spent a lot of time looking online. We got some things from uh, Ikea, from Hipfan, and somewhere else that I've forgotten. Um, and we had it all delivered, and great pieces of furniture, really nice practical things. But now that we've been here a little while, we kind of want to put a bit more of our own stamp on it, a bit more things that are maybe a little bit more individual than the kind of run on the mill, uh, off the shelf kind of things. So I'm going to go and have a look at the place that Junty found and see what we can find. Um, in particular, I'm looking for like, I guess it's like a sideboard for the hallway. I'm not so keen on the idea. Junty thinks it might work, so I'm going to check it out. We've also got a shelf that when we first got it was lovely. It just had like a few ornaments, a few books, and now it's full of all of our board games uh, that we play. We do love playing board games card games, things like that, so we want something for all of them to go in. Or the other option is a different TV unit. Our TV is up on the wall. We've got a unit underneath that just stores stuff, all the stuff like the Nintendo Switch. A hundred wires seem to be in there, so we want to find something to replace that. So we've been saving for a little while, and yeah, I'm going to go and check it out. And in case you've been missing John T, here's what he found there first. It's a Saturday afternoon. We've had a lovely morning and lunchtime celebrating my grandma's 94th birthday. Uh, Millie's taking a nap, what a dream. And uh, the kids are just hanging out at home. I'm feeling a little bit snoozy to be honest, but uh, I had heard that right around the corner to our apartment is a furniture shop to die for. And so I thought I'd check it out because there's a couple of pieces that we're thinking about getting for our apartment and I thought I'd bring you guys along. What a beautiful place. I'm just looking around. There's so many options here. Um, and what's great about it is that instead of like, I guess, having a catalog or going online, you can actually look at the things and see everything. Now here, um, all of the measurements are put down on each piece of furniture, which is excellent, because I've got an idea of uh, what the measurements are that I need, but uh, sometimes when I look at it, I'm a little bit skewed and then a bit biased if I particularly like the piece. So um, this is fantastic. This shop just goes on and on and on and on. And um, yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. Is there's so much here that I'd buy, probably um, heaps of it if, um, if I had the space for it. And so um, I have to be really specific about what I want and stay focused on what I want and what we need for home. And so what I'm gonna do is just tell you actually, in the hallway, um, there's, I guess it's a hallway so it's narrower. And so we want a piece there, um, like a sideboard that's not too wide so that we don't lose a lot of the space. Um, and hopefully it's flashed up and you can see it. Um, and then um, a sideboard there would be perfect to be able to put, got some board games that are living on a shelf that um, everyone can see and I think it'd be really nice if I tuck them away a little bit. And also the kitchen's kind of overflowing with my obsession with Le Creuset, um, so Le Creuset hit me up. Um, and so um, I want to be able to find a place to be able to put some more of that too. Um, but I also want it to look lovely and I think we could put a lamp on it um, 
in the in that in the hallway and i think that looked great and maybe a couple of photo frames uh two which would be great we're looking for a new coffee table at some point and also a new i guess tv console that goes below the tv um our tv is on the wall so it, it wouldn't have the tv on it but that sort of vibe um so we're looking at all of that um so yeah come and see whether we can find any pieces here at just anthony's The more I'm looking at, the more I want, actually, which is a terrible thing about looking at furniture shops, but these um, porcelain stools are absolutely beautiful, and I can just picture one by the front door uh, next to where our shoe cabinet is, and so now my mind's kind of rolling on what else we need in the house, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they almost look like giant salt and pepper shakers, you know? <laughs> I can't believe this shop is here. I've run past it many times, um, literally many, many times, and never realized that this was a furniture shop. It's absolutely incredible, and it is huge inside as well. Um, I'm feeling a bit more connected for some reason uh, to my Chinese heritage, the Chinese side of my heritage. I have talked a little bit about my Peranakan heritage um, before on this channel, and I think um, over the years in the UK, trying to own my Peranakan heritage more so than my Chinese heritage, um, I think I just kind of, the Chinese side of my family kind of went to, I don't know, it just disappeared into the background a little bit. But now that we've been living in Singapore, I'm really, really interested in my Teochew side. I've been researching uh, Guangzhou, where my mother's father came from, and looking around um, at pictures and videos of, of that area, I think I'm starting to feel a bit more of a connection towards my Chinese side. And so I'm a little bit more attracted to the furniture and maybe gracing our home with some of that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what we might pick up from here and bring home. You can see why Jonty really enjoyed wandering around here. The rooms are really big. Um, I'm trying to imagine what it might have looked like once upon a time um, when it was a home, because it just keeps going further back and further back. And it doesn't look that big from the outside, but when you get in, uh, the rooms are packed with stuff, but not too tightly packed, like you feel like you're gonna knock stuff off. Um, it's yeah, set up really lovely. Um, there's loads of things that have lots of little details on, which is really lovely, which is, I think, the thing that we're looking for that, like, you don't get when you buy things, like, from Ikea or a hip fan, although, like, practical pieces, um, furniture. But we want something that's a little bit different, which I think, hopefully, that we're going to find here. The pieces of furniture have the measurements on them, which is great. I'm kind of bad at looking at something and going, yeah, that would fit. But there are tape measures at the front of the store as well, so if you wanted to measure as you go, that's always very helpful. You don't want to get a piece of furniture home and realise that it does not fit. love this with all the different drawers although I know for a fact I'll put something in it and then I'll forget which drawer and then have to look through uh, absolutely all of them but yeah I really like that although I don't think the board games are gonna fit in it so I'm gonna keep looking around <laughs> And there is even more furniture out here and another workshop over there packed full and full of things I think this is more the section that I would find something that might fit um, for a unit underneath our TV or perhaps in the hallway like I said I'm still not sold on the hallway idea I think it'll just make it a bit too narrow but hopefully a unit under the TV will kind of solve the problem of all the board games spilling out everywhere <laughs> I like the idea of these ones. Um, they've got loads of different colours, which is good. They've got nice little details on the handle. Quite simple, so I think it will kind of fit in with what we've got already. But then on the other side, I quite like the idea of something having something like completely different uh, 
Yeah, John and I have quite different tastes. When we got married um, in the UK, you do a wedding list and you go around a shop called John Lewis, which I guess would be a bit like Tang's, and they give you like a barcode scanner and you go around the shop and you scan the things that you would like on your wedding list and then the wedding list is sent out to their guests if they would like to uh, buy something. But anyway, as we were going around, we had very different tastes on pretty much everything, uh, but um, it seems to work. So, <laughs> the opposites attract and all that, I guess. Oh, I think this has got all the animals of the zodiac around. I like this one, John T, when we're looking back through stuff, but I don't think it would fit. John T says that my style is I just pick everything I like and stick it in a room and don't consider whether it actually goes together. So I'm just going to go around and show you all the pieces that I would like in my dream home of just random furniture all put together and then John T kind of sifts through my ideas and then makes something that looks lovely. This one could be handy with like, you can put like something to lock it so then uh, kids can't get to the iPads. <laughs> some of the things in here look new, some of them look lovingly restored, some of them have kept their kind of old charm about them. I'd be interested to find out where all of this furniture comes from. I did just meet the owner, uh, so hopefully I can ask in a little while and find out for us. I wonder if we can change the front door on our unit for this. <laughs> I've got a thing for front doors. I, I, one of the things I see in my dream house, I don't know, one day, who knows, is an amazing front door. This is pretty amazing. I thought I could smell the scent of like wood and the workshop is just back here, which is awesome. There's loads of little trinkets and extra things to like add to them, I guess, if you're replacing like the doorknobs and things. Yeah, a real treasure trove of stuff. I love places like this. So I'm in a whole other section in here as well. It's also nice and cool in here, which I'm very happy about. It's been so hot this week. I've like, and I like the heat, but this week I've had enough of it. <laughs> I'm glad for the fans. Wow, another incredible room. Lots of pieces of furniture that I haven't seen before. Loads of different styles all packed into here, which is, yeah. there was this place in Norwich. I can't think of what it's called now. Looses, I think. And it was a bit like this, just a massive, massive place like three levels of all different kinds of furniture, different styles of stuff. I think when you come to some place like this and see all the different styles together, you can just appreciate that, I guess just the history of furniture and things like that. Yeah, I might just be being a bit of a geek, but I love it. I think I love old furniture so much. Um, and just, I guess, like charity shops, we buy things secondhand in general, just like the history. So this door still has a number on it, 236. Like, where's it come from? What's the history of this door? I'm not sure what the Chinese characters say. I have been learning Mandarin for quite a while, but uh, Chinese characters still elude me. I can recognize them. And then sometimes when you put them together, they mean a completely different thing. So if you know, let me know in the comments below, just so I can unlock a little bit of this history. I thought this had 43 drawers, but when you open them, <laughs> there's like another surprise inside. I feel that being here without John T, I've somewhat got distracted. I found a nice pair of bedside uh, tables. I found a couple of front doors that I would like and a jewelry makeup box um, and a couple of stools. <laughs> somewhat distracted without him keeping me here on track. <laughs> I think I would still prefer the TV unit. Um, so I'm gonna go back and have another little look at those and just really have a think about them, which ones would work best, what kind of design, and then John and I are gonna uh, chat about it later.
what an awesome place. I was just chatting with uh, one of the owners here and it's a family run business, has been for a very, very long time. Lots of the pieces come over from China. Some of the pieces are replicas, some of them are antiques that they saw some find over COVID. Um, they were sending photos of different pieces over and then they'd be shipped over here, um, wrapped up, taken care of here, and then uh, I guess uh, delivered to your home. So I have loved wandering around here and when I was in here, I bumped into a guy. We just got chatting for maybe about half an hour about architecture in Singapore. He was interested in this building in particular, then came in have a look. We had a really nice chat for ages. He was telling me all about uh, the war history in Singapore, which he's very passionate about. So that was amazing to hear. And then we got talking about a particular building in the UK and it turned out it was the building around the back of the church that Jonty and I got married in. So we were both a bit like, what? How funny of all the places to be on all the days to be, he tells me about um, a particular building and it's one that I know very well. So that was a lovely conversation to have. I am gonna head back. John and I are gonna chat about which kind of furniture we think we might like to get. But this has been lovely for a wander around, just seeing all the different things. Uh, some really nice gift ideas in there as well. Plant pots outside, huge, huge plant pots outside. I think I'm gonna need a bigger house one day for all the things that I've now mentally bought in my mind. But uh, yeah, lunchtime. So I'm back home, had some lunch, and uh, yeah, John and I are gonna chat and I'm gonna show him some of the things that I found. Um, I did get a bit distracted in okay. the shop. Um, <laughs> like uh, you'd seen, there was just so much in there. Like when you said it was big, and then I went myself, like hopefully if you guys get a chance to go, you should, go, you should. And you'll just see like you just keep going and going and going and everything's packed up. They've got furniture on top of furniture. Um, yeah, I got a bit distracted. I found like this. It's like, okay, it's, what do you call it? You put umbrellas in it. Oh, I like but it's got that. like the nice Pranacan colours with the pinks and the yeah. yellows. So you know, I'm sure you guys have seen it in the episode right now, but I saw those giant salt shaker things. Um, what are they like barrel seats, oh, like yeah, ceramic barrels seats. or whatever. And those are awesome. I like the yellow one, but that I, that would look nice by the front door, actually. It's a bit more practical. Like, all of our umbrellas are small. So oh, we need to get some. Just drop in the bottom. We need to get some tall ones just we'll for this. Some tall umbrellas just And for a walking this. stick. And a, and a cane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's nice. I like that, but that's not. No, that that wasn't what I was supposed to be looking for. I also yeah. found some bedside tables again. Oh, that's good. It wasn't on the shopping list. Yeah, but I don't like our bedside tables, so maybe that's another thing so we could add to the list. Another thing. I did like these ones. But because oh, yeah. we're looking for something under the TV, I didn't know whether it had a space to put like the TV box. Yeah, and underneath might like be a bit ugly. Yeah, but they've got all the different details on the handles, and there's plenty of space inside. Yeah, but no holes at the back for wires either no. to go in through. So that's not. But you never know. We they might be able to make a hole in the back it of it because yeah. they do. Um, what do you call it? Their they, own restoration. They restore some of the pieces that were there. They said they bring some of them in already restored, but then um, when I snuck around the back, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be in the workshop, but I had a peek anyway. Behind um. us, they've just started <laughs> fogging. Oh. Those of you who are not in Singapore, you don't know what that is. Oh, I can smell but it. I can get a smell. Oh, to talk fast before it comes no, it's already... over this way. <laughs> <laughs> they might be able to cut a hole in the back for us, perhaps, so that we could put the the pipes, no, why are they? Wires. Wires through. Put the wires in the back. Um, huge bird cages, they were nice, but we've practically got nowhere to put them. Or a bed. Or, or a bed. <laughs> I really like this side table. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's very decorative. It's got loads of yellow. I think maybe Goes I'm feeling dress. yellow at the moment because everything I've filmed is yellow. <laughs> I'm definitely leaning more towards having a, something under the TV. So it looks like we're going back to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's only up the road. Yeah. It is only on the road, but I, um, yeah, so I think we need to go back Good. together and get some measurements. <laughs> I like the ones next to this one, Yep. but the they ones. all had different colours of them. Yes, no, I did film so those. I, yeah, so I like yeah, those, and I think um, I really like the ornamental flowers and that sort mm -hmm. of, that sort of colour um, and lots of different colours on a piece, but in terms of practical, I do like those other pieces work really, really well but they're quite standard. I mean, they're nice standard. They've got I nice like details having, yeah, on the handles though. I like having a nice standard, different. so maybe. Yeah, we'll go check out there. Just Anthony. Uh, I think it's such a great shop. Um, I don't know um, much about the history. I just know that they've been there for a long time. There's a few generations and mm. uh, early on that it was under Atap roof. So it would be cool to be able to um, go along and check out what they've got there and to support um, a Singapore institution. Yeah, and did you see when you first go in, they've got that bar? 
Oh yeah. I forgot, I didn't film it, so you'll just have to go and look at it for yourself. It's, it's the bar and I asked about it and it's an old like ticket booth. Yeah, yeah, you can tell It's got the that. metal oh, railings. Um, I saw the metal railings. Yeah, so it was apparently one of the last ones of that kind that they picked up from Chinatown years and years and years ago. Wow, oh that's pretty cool. So yeah, do go good. and check it out. Yeah, um, and we will um, maybe try to share some of Just Anthony on our socials. Yes. And um, yeah, if you ever have the chance just to explore what's in your neighbourhood, go and have a look. Or if you've heard like I did with this whole situation, some friends have been to Just Anthony before and said you should check it out. And um, we, we never did, it took us three years to do it. Um, and now we've done it, we definitely don't regret it. No, not at all. So if you're looking uh, for some furniture um, or you know somebody that is, share this video with them. It might just give them another opportunity to have a look for some cool pieces. Yeah, so like. Subscribe if you know of any other little, I guess, hidden gems you might call them. Mm. Um, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we like just. Yeah, there's so many across the island, so like yeah, help us to go and find some more. We do. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.